A year in politics is always a tricky one, especially in South Africa. And pandemic or not, 2020 was no different. Here are some top political moments that have either had us on edge, confused, or both. For starters, Es Mahashule, the ANC Secretary General, was asked to step aside by the party's Integrity Committee. This follows a contract to audit and assess houses with asbestos roofs being awarded unlawfully in the Free State while he was Premier of the province. More than 200 million rand was unaccounted for. Mahashule was arrested and charged. The ruling party had more irregularities on their hands. Former Gauteng Health MEC Bandile Masugu, along with other ANC officials, were implicated in the irregular awarding of PPE. I'm really, really disappointed uh, to have an MEC who has been leading in this front uh, very well, facing allegations that I can't ignore. In the opposition ranks, there was a battle for leadership in the DA. Following a tumultuous 2019, with high-level resignations from party leader Musi Maimani and Jobek Mayor Herman Mashaba, interim leader John Steenhuizen beat Mbalin Duli in the race to be the new DA leader. The party also took to court to challenge South Africa's lockdown regulations, saying there is no evidence to back the regulations and that lockdown is irrational. The Constitutional Court, however, dismissed their urgent case, saying the case was not in the interest of justice to be heard. And as usual, South Africans reacted. Meanwhile, at the EFF, Julius Malema and Buisen Indlozi made several court appearances this year over the alleged assault of a police officer during Winnie Mandela's funeral in 2018. The case is ongoing. The party's deputy president, Floyd Shivambo, meanwhile will also be standing trial in February 2021 for common assault. The NPA dismissed his representation on why he should not be prosecuted in October this year. This comes after he allegedly assaulted a photographer outside parliament in 2018. Meanwhile, former Johannesburg mayor Herman Mashaba launched his own political party, Action SA, but he found himself in a bit of a pickle when the party of Action accused him of stealing their logo. As a result, the IEC stopped the new political party from registering as an official organization. Mashaba won the battle to have his party registered after changing the logo in December this year. And last, but certainly not least, there's former President Jacob Zuma. He went AWOL at the State Capture Commission of Inquiry following the dismissal of his application to have Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo removed as Commission Chair. The Commission was then instructed to lay a criminal complaint against Zuma. We return to the hearing in circumstances where Mr. Zuma has left, I've been told. His arms deal case, meanwhile, was also postponed to 2021. As 2020 comes to a close, we're certain that 2021 will be filled with more moments, leaving us scratching our heads. <laughs> <laughs>